it focuses on beauty standards and the ideologies that have defined these in and around the black community and just how they are often linked to history and the politics of survival. You can be the smartest person, you can have the best qualifications, you can have, you know, really good experience, but if you don't look the part, you might not get the role. The whole conversation, um, I would say, emerges from the superiority of whiteness and the inferiority of blackness. If you were lighter than a paper bag at some point in history, that meant that you could get into university. Like, that meant that you could change the trajectory of your family's lives. And I mean, at a black college, right? Um, so, I mean, all of this kind of translates into who we see on TV, who gets access to fame, who gets access to visibility, who is seen as beautiful, um, and, and conversely then, who is seen as ugly, who gets erased, whose beauty is always vilified, who you don't want to be like. So a man can be defined by his presence, his accomplishments, and who he knows. That can lead to a man's success. A man will never be denied an opportunity based on how they look if they have the talents to back up what they're trying to do. The, the fixation that, that, that we have, particularly on women's bodies, on commodifying women's bodies, making women's bodies acceptable, making women's bodies accessible, making women's bodies controllable, deciding which bodies matter, which bodies don't, which bodies can be visible, which bodies get erased, uh, which bodies are bought and sold, you know? Body politics are politics of survival.